Dr. Andrea McNeely is a first-class human nutrition graduate from the University of Ulster Coleraine and has been appointed as a lecturer in sport and exercise nutrition within the Ulster Sports Academy at the University of Ulster Jordanstown. Andrea continues to be actively involved in nutrition education and acts as a consultant sport and exercise nutritionist for many sports teams and clubs throughout Northern Ireland. Moving on then to carbohydrate. As already mentioned, we know that it is the body's main source of fuel during exercise. It is particularly easily utilised during high intensity exercise, such as running. So therefore, during marathon preparation, it is important to both increase carbohydrate intake, but also to get the carbohydrate strategy right. So the aim is to increase carbohydrate, to allow the storage of carbohydrate in the form of glycogen. So before, during and after exercise, we want to have carbohydrate foods, which will provide enough energy to sustain the exercise, prevent fatigue, and also to ultimately improve performance as well as your recovery after strenuous training events. If we then think about some suggestions for a carbohydrate rich breakfast. Foods such as porridge with fresh or dried fruit added to it, along with a small amount of either sugar, honey or golden syrup are an excellent example of how you can increase the carbohydrate intake of the meal but without dramatically increasing the bulk of the meal. Similarly you can have the likes of warm rolls, toast and muffins, and then add some extra source of carbohydrate, whether it's sliced banana, a small amount of honey, marmite, which will contain B vitamin extracts, which can be used for the release of energy, jam or low fat peanut butter. If we then think about other options that we can have, you could have poached egg on thick sliced wholemeal toast with a small amount of butter. Breakfast cereals such as muesli or the whole grain cereals with semi-skim milk and some sliced fresh fruit. Add a glass of pure orange juice will also allow you to achieve carbohydrate requirements as well as increasing your intake of vitamin C which is important for immune function. You can also have a warm cooked breakfast by having the likes of grilled tomatoes with toast or for example baked beans with scrambled eggs and a small amount of mushrooms that have been dry fried in a small amount of oil. If we then think of examples of carbohydrate lunches, this can be quite challenging for athletes especially if they are working alongside their training which the majority of people will be. If you have sandwiches, you can optimise the amount of carbohydrate contained within them as well as optimising the nutritional content of the meal. This can be done by choosing thick breads, which means that the thicker the slice of bread, the more carbohydrate that will be contained within it. You then add a lean source of protein, such as tuna, ham, chicken or roast beef with the fat removed from it. If you then bulk up on your salad fillings, such as lettuce, tomato, cucumber, onion, peppers, this can allow you to achieve your intake of some water-soluble vitamins and minerals. As well as that, you can have either a salad made with pasta or rice, but again, you would hope to increase the carbohydrate intake by adding, for example, sweet corn, peppers, mushrooms or courgette to that. It is important if you are having either sandwiches or pasta salads to avoid creamy sauces and mayonnaise if possible. The reason being that they are high in saturated fat. So if possible, you would switch from regular mayonnaise to a low fat or an extra low fat mayonnaise product. A suitable alternative would be to have a tomato based sauce with these types of dishes. As well as that, you can have baked potatoes with the likes of beans, cheese, tuna or peppers added to it. 
If we then think about the main meal of the day, so whether this is consumed during the day at lunchtime or later in the evening, depending on the time that you're undertaking your training, it is important to note that you can have very similar meals to what the rest of the family or your friends may be having, but it is important to make slightly healthier choices where possible. For example, you can still go for your deep pan pizza, but to make it slightly healthier for the needs of your sport and your training, opt for a thicker crust pizza, which will give you slightly more carbohydrate. As well as that, you would try to steer clear from the likes of the meat and cheese toppings and bulk up on the vegetarian toppings with a small amount of low-fat cheddar cheese added to it. The same thing applies with regards to your rice, pasta or your noodle-based stir-fry dishes. These will supply carbohydrate, but by adding a small amount of low-fat protein with your meat or your chicken or your shellfish, you can increase the protein intake. Then bulk up on the amount of vegetables contained within that. And it is good to note that you can add your own favourite herbs and spices to increase the flavour content of the meal. You can also have oily fish or white fish that has been baked or poached, serving it with jacket potatoes and vegetables. When it comes to traditional Sunday roast meals, you can still have your roast chicken with your jacket potato and steamed vegetables, but it is important to keep an eye on the fat content of the meal. In this instance, you would remove the crispy skin from the chicken and serve with a small amount of gravy. The key to recovery when it comes to exercise is that immediately after you finish any sort of training session, you should aim to have a small carbohydrate snack and follow this up as soon as possible with a main meal that supplies both your carbohydrate and your protein. Preferably, your carbohydrate snack and your main meal should be consumed within two hours of completing your exercise. Some examples of these carbohydrate-rich snacks are listed here. It is important to note that some will vary with regards to bulk. For example, jelly beans or jelly babies would be a small concentrated source of carbohydrate. Whereas you may wish to have a larger snack, such as a scone, with a small amount of low-fat spread and some jam. Depending on your appetite, you should choose to have one of these immediately once you finish training. If we then think about increasing carbohydrates to a high level, it is important to note that you can have desserts in the diet. And these can be a good way of both increasing the fruit content of the diet, provided that they centre around fresh fruit. But also, if you use low-fat dairy products, such as semi-skim milk, the likes of milk pudding, such as rice pudding or semolina, then it also gives you vital nutrients in the form of calcium, vitamin D, fat-soluble vitamins from the milk, but most importantly, it will give you the combination of fluid, carbohydrate and protein. And milk would be considered to be a superfood for athletes. So providing you're not lactose intolerant, it is beneficial to include it in your diet when you're training for the marathon.